it's Jenny and I'm just showing you a few things that I'm using um, in this layout and this uh, collectibles pack is from Kayser Craft and it is called Storyteller and I'm just showing those Maggie Holmes um, gold thickers and also that notepad that was an old one from about 2010 from Pink Paisley and that paper right there the pink one is called Spa from the Lake House collection and the blue piece is Christmas Wish from a collection called Cheer. So I've pulled together um, some older bits of paper out of my stash and I picked up that collection pack for three dollars um, the other day so I really wanted to do a layout um, that used a collection pack so another challenge to use what I had um, limiting my supplies so the three dollar collection pack and a dollar fifty for each piece of paper so I've got a layout here for like six dollars fifty so um, you know that's pretty good I think when we get those collection packs uh, we can be tempted to hoard them and keep them and because we don't want to use them all but you know for the price that I paid for them it's fine to use them all up because really realistically um, if I don't use them all up they will just sit in my stash and not get used at all so I thought I would try to use them up um, all together or most of them anyway but as you can see you will see that I don't actually um, do that because there is way too many so at the moment I'm just um, working out some matting for my photo and then I will start doing all the embellishments. So this um, layout is called This Is Me. So this is a photo of me. So um, I realise that I don't necessarily scrap myself, that I'm often the one taking the photos or, you know, I'm scrapping people that inspire me or you know my kids because I love them and I don't really ever scrap myself unless I'm maybe with somebody um, and I think as women we can be really hard on ourselves and we judge ourselves very harshly and so this is my attempt to not do that so as I'm getting older um, you know I I'm not in my 20s anymore and as I get older and I start to see my body change and my face develop more wrinkles and you know I look tireder and I look older and that can be um, something that's you know really hard to come to terms with but you know the reality is that we all have to age and that we are all getting older so you know I wanted to stop hiding behind the camera and you know this is me this is the person that you know my family see every day you know this is me that they love dearly and this is me that you know all my friends see and my work colleagues see you know and they love me so we need to or I need to stop being harsh on myself and looking at photos and seeing all the imperfections and seeing all the things that are wrong with me and you know just embrace this age that I'm at and uh, you know just to embrace life and you know continue to enjoy life and get the most out of it so this is a, a bit of a brave moment for me and I hope that you will follow suit and you know pull out a photo of yourself or take a photo of yourself and so this was a selfie that I took of myself at work at the end of a work day and just quickly just shot a selfie with my phone so you know I challenge you to do that too and to just scrap some photos of you even if you don't like photos of you to just do it anyway and get them in your book because you know when 20 years down the track I'm gonna think I looked young and because I'm gonna be much older so you know it's a good thing to do so anyway back to the layout so as you can see I am layering up all the die cuts so I made a few piles at the side and I made, um, you know, found ones that aren't going to suit on this layout. They're about friendship or love, etc. But I am cutting in half all of the little labels and little tags that are going to match. And I'm simple, simply layering them around the page. 
So this one I wanted to be, you know, pretty heavily um, embellished with the die cuts and I want to be able to tuck little pieces behind and make lots of dimension um, even though it's all predominantly very flat. So I'm at the stage where I'm committing to sticking it all together and instead of sticking it to the pink um, piece of paper as usual I just put a little sticky tape on the top and I just pop it underneath and that way that gives me um, room to be able to move with the layout it gives me room to be able to see exactly where I want to put it and if I'm wanting to add some texture or some paint or anything underneath the photo mat later on I don't have to rip everything up so you know this is still movable and I'm just sticking it all together like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle so and then later on you will see me add some um, bits of paint which I wouldn't have been able to do afterwards uh, beforehand I should say so the reason I do it like this is because I often um, change my mind and if I lay down my piece of paper and decide on a background pattern it's highly likely that I build up way too much and then you won't see any of it anyway so I prefer to do it this way stick all the pieces together then I can actually move that mat right off and that way I can see exactly where I need to add some paint or stamping or anything like that that I'd like to do So, you know, it's quite fun working with these little die cut packs. I'm not usually a floral person. I don't use lots of um, flowers, but, you know, I quite liked the colours of these flowers and this collection. So, you know, they're not, it's not going to really suit on my um, daughter's pages. So I thought that I would make it work on a page about me. So I don't dislike them. I quite, and I really like this page I like the way that it ended up and so I was happy to be able to use them so this was another um, if I didn't say it already before uh, another budget friendly one just to be able to show you what you can do with some supplies I know I have um, looked at these collectibles before and I have bought them when I was making cards so that I could actually um, you know add them to a card or so but I you know haven't used them in a layout as such or maybe I've used you know one or two but not you know the majority so it's good to you know challenge yourself and I love to challenge myself with scrapbooking and to be able to do different things so you know I I challenge myself often to scrap in a way that I haven't before or to try a technique I haven't before or a product that I haven't used before so this was my challenge for me today to use up a, a nearly a whole die pack, um, die cut pack or the most of it anyway. And like I said, you know, it wasn't very expensive. And I think even when they're not on sale, you know, they're the die cuts in these Kaiser packs are about $7 um, in Australia. So $7 and two pieces of paper is pretty good and the thickers um, you know but they were from one of my kits that was from my hip kit in October and so I decided to use those on this layout so I've just um, got that little piece there that says be happy be yourself and because it's no point in me trying to be somebody that I'm not or trying to be somebody else so you know God made me me and you know I there is nothing wrong with me and I need to embrace you know who I am and just be happy with the way I was made and you know we all have positive things and sometimes we need to just look a little bit harder um, but we all have them and uh, so this is just about celebrating life and yeah just being happy with yourself or being happy with myself so at the moment I'm just using the technique that I've used in the last couple of videos with the paint dauber except for I didn't have a pot of water there 
and I couldn't be bothered going to get it. So I was really lazy and so what I did to the side, which you can't see or you couldn't see, was just sprayed the top of my dauber bottle with um, some water. And then over to the side I mixed up some, um, some of that paint with water so that it could be really thin and I splattered that all over the page and then I had a lot left over so I just made big drops of it. So this will just be poking out of the flower area and you know it's not a big dramatic difference but it just adds a little something underneath the die cuts. So that's all dried off and see as you can see I've got that piece of um, that piece there that has all the die cut stuck and I'm just going to stick that down and commit to placement and you can see around the photo where um, it looks like water and so it didn't really um, it was a very similar color um, paint to the paper so it just changed the tone of pink so just gave another little dimension to look at another something to look at and there you can see, you see it's poking out from around the flowers and so now I am just um, doing the final placement of things I'm not too sure that I was happy with where I had those happy happiness and smile before I like it over there on the left hand side and I am just placing these thickers onto the um, greaseproof paper so that I can move them around and I can actually have a good look at where I want them to go so um, thickers with this script font always mess me up so you know I'm not used to seeing um, words written in the script so when I go to stick them together and they are quite flexible and they move I always find it a bit of a chore to get them exactly how they should be so you know I look back at them and think oh I've got one letter that's you know bent over too far um, so they're a little bit of a challenge for me but hey I worked it out and and you know they're beautiful so I'm not going to stop using them so just deciding that I like to put this is over there to the left and that I'll put me down the bottom to the right so that your eye can you know just sort of flow across and take the whole page in and then that will direct your eye to actually go around the whole page and have a look at everything on it so it's nearly finished and then I've got these tiny little butterflies and I had a couple of flowers left so I have used nearly every single flower apart from these ones you can see me pushing around now and I am going to use them I'm going to stick them down and the only flower I have left is that tiny little blue one over on the left I don't use that but I have used every other flower in this pack so it had a couple of tiny little butterflies in there as well and so I end up I've put one little butterfly on that be happy be yourself little tag and I'm now uh, sticking some more little bits and pieces in there and I think that I hmm, I can't quite remember and I only did this layout this morning Oh, there you go I put a dimensional on the butterfly so you can't quite see that on the um, in, on the video but it's actually um, standing up quite high and and you can see it you know it's not getting lost on all those flowers so that's where I find the last two little ones and little flowers and I stick them under as well it was looking a little bit too round for me so I wanted to just bring out the sides a little bit and just to stop it looking so round so that's pretty much it and I go to do my ink splatters so I'm just actually I'm just going to show you how much I had left so there's still heaps left even though I actually used a lot of it um, but I pull out my black ink to do my splatters and guess who didn't buy more ink this week even though it would run out me so I'm trying my best to get some ink out and uh, nothing only a couple of tiny little spots I had to like whack it really hard so I didn't get my nice big giant splatters so I decided to just pull my little water bottle to the side and 
use that and I got some bigger splats. So I would definitely need to go and get that tomorrow uh, during the week. So th this is my layout and thank you for joining me and appreciate your comments and your likes and your subscribing and just your support. And I'd love to see a photo, a layout with you. All right, see you next time. Bye.